Okay, this trip has not started according to plan at all. I'm here in California with Dan and Blaine. Dan and I got here just fine, uh, but Blaine's flight got canceled, actually. Yeah, we're going to pick up Blaine from the airport right now because he decided it would be a good idea to have a snowstorm where he lives that cancels all his flights. Come on, Blaine. Anyway, we're going to pick him up. We're in this big van. We had issues with the clearance to get into different areas to pick him up. So what we ended up having to do is go through the taxi line, which you're not supposed to do. But we figured out that with the clearance, it was fine to go through there. We just kidnapped Blaine from the airport. We went by in the van, opened the door, we pulled him in and then just drove off. We should have filmed that. <laughs> I wanted to film it, but I was like, we have to just get him first. If yeah. I'm filming it, we can't kidnap Back him. Back him and grab him. Yeah. 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 Then uh, yesterday, we went to the Mesquite Flat Sand Dunes for sunrise. And we had a bit of issue finding a good angle there because we hiked out uh, in the dark before sunrise and we hadn't been there before so by the time the sun came out we hadn't really found a good angle yet so we decided to go back for sunset which turned out to be not a good idea <laughs> uh, we thought if we went early enough we'd have enough time to scout out a better location or better angle we walked all across the sand dunes for a couple hours and didn't really find a good spot before sunset. Then this morning we went to the salt flats and it was a really cool spot, but the weather just didn't cooperate again. And then that brings us to right now. So the trip thus far has not been great in terms of getting the photos we wanted, uh, but we're hoping that our luck changes. We're right now at Trona Pinnacles and we're really hoping that we get some more clouds coming in and that it's a good sunset. But right now, it's just a completely clear blue sky. How are you feeling about sunset? I could use a few clouds, to be honest. We like to think that the trip has just started. Blaine is the absolute optimist of the group. You want some applesauce? Go, go, squeeze. Your friendly squeeze. neighborhood applesauce. <laughs> so do I make peanut butter jelly sandwich or do I make peanut butter, cream cheese and jelly sandwich? I'm just gonna eat the bread. So it's just a bread sandwich? So we got the bread, the bread and the bread. How is it? <laughs> Kind of dry. This is the summary of the trip so far. Lots of effort, right? Okay, the effort, hold on. I'm the effort, okay. And you're the photos we got. But I'm like, <laughs> up here. Okay, okay, this is like the effort. I can't hold on to this. I'm the effort, and these are the photos we got. This is the amount of photos we got. Just that. The competition is rock throwing. I bet you can't throw that rock and hit one of one of those. This rock actually has a really bad texture. Let me try this one. Oh, okay. It has a bad texture. That, that's why you can't feel do it. it. It's like it's like sharp. Feast your eyeballs with that. All right. Well, let's see it. Clearly, we were starting to lose our minds after a few days in the desert with no photos to show for it. Despite the conditions not being ideal once again, I was able to capture a couple shots with my drone that I liked here before we left and headed towards the Alabama hills. We just woke up here at Alabama hills and looked outside and there's actually a perfect layer of clouds out, so we're hyped. It looks like do you think our luck has changed? I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I think, I think the tide has turned. It actually looks like it could be just the perfect condition, so let's hope. I remember waking up, going outside, and being way too happy that there was a fairly thick layer of clouds. Once the sky started to catch some color, I knew we had our first good sunrise of the trip, and it seemed like our luck had finally turned. came up over the mountains back there perfectly. We got a whole crew of photographers out here capturing it. We got some photos of the van down there. I'm just happy we finally got some good conditions and hopefully this continues on for the last couple days of the trip. Um, okay, how was this morning? Dude, this morning literally changed my life. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, the spirits were really low. Like yeah. last night, it was yeah. like rock bottom. We're at Movie Road right now. <laughs> okay, can I give back again? There's here? probably gonna be not a single cloud in the sky when we wake up. We're all happy about it. <laughs> Look at this framing. <laughs> <laughs> it's a rule of thirds, bro. Rule of thirds, bro. Yeah, there we go. This is definitely the rule of thirds. <laughs> We were actually really sad, so at least the, the shots today were epic. Dude, they're coming for your SD card. Oh. <laughs> Take the SD card at all costs. Put it in a, a vacuum compressed chamber and bury it underground. This morning, 
this man was jumping for joy. Yep, not gonna lie, I was, I was like a little kid. Oh, I was just like... <laughs> Something like that. Look at that grace. After enjoying some coffee to celebrate a successful morning shoot, we continued to drive around the area to explore more and eventually found a nice spot to set up camp for the night. The following morning we had another successful sunrise shoot and I got one of my favorite photos from the entire trip. Dan over here has invented something new. Do you want to show us what you invented, Dan? It's called the Banger 9000, okay? Go. Hello. Ah. Just ready to snag the banger. Right when the, the light is just perfect, you just go. Maybe tomorrow. With my state-of-the-art patented, copyright, copyrighted design. It's okay. a custom silicon mold, 3D printed, that connects the lens to your pants. And it costs $99. Oh, wow. If you have a coin pocket, it's even better. You can use a regular pocket as well. But you're going to have better performance if you do have that coin pocket. So you're gonna have a lot easier time grabbing and snagging the banger uh, than if it's in the, in the regular pocket. Well, clearly six days in the desert was taking its toll on us. Anyway, the trip was almost over at this point, which based on us making promo videos for fake products was probably a good thing. We headed back towards Death Valley for the last couple days. As you guys have probably seen in the video, we are staying in this van uh, for the trip, which has been so much nicer than car camping in my opinion. It's pretty nice. You can like actually like sleep horizontally. Instead of sleeping in the front seat, well, of the it's car. not even really sleeping if you're in the car. You're kind of just yeah. like dozing off every once in a while, <laughs> and then like waking up for like ten minutes in pain and agony. So, wow, that's actually very true. Yeah. That's where we've been living for the past uh, five or six days. I don't even know how long we've been in this it's thing. It's been a number of days. It's been a number of days, and we're still kind of sane. You alright, dude? Oh yeah, I'm chilling, bro. You just you just taking a little nap? Yeah, sir. Okay, I guess it's a it's an okay place to do that. Later that evening, we shot sunset in Death Valley National Park before driving back to Las Vegas, since Blaine had an early flight home the next morning. Okay, we just dropped Blaine off at the airport for his flight home. Uh, we're finishing up the trip with a sunrise shoot here at Valley of Fire State Park. This is actually the third time that we've been here on this trip, I think, but there's a lot of different perspectives, so there's plenty to shoot. Dan, how was the trip overall, would you say? What's your, uh, what's your verdict? We got bad clouds throughout the trip, but we have some banger compositions. There may or may not be some uh, should we say manipulation of finessing said sky finessing of the sky perhaps what if that's blaine up there dude you think it is perhaps could be hey blaine uh, if you're watching this like let us know if that's you up there <laughs>
All right, guys, we're back in the van now. We're just about to clean everything up and pack our bags so that we can go return the van to the airport and then head home. Uh, this trip definitely started off a little bit rough with the conditions, but as we went on, we actually got some really good photos, especially when we were in the Alabama Hills. So overall, I'm really satisfied with the trip and definitely it's gonna be really hard to go back to car camping after this because this was just so much better. But um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you did, make sure to subscribe. I will see you guys in the next one. We gotta go return this van, unfortunately.